All right, all right, all right. Well, welcome to Home Theater on a Budget. We gotta talk about this subwoofer. I wasn't gonna do it at first because I had some reservations that I had to get over and some thoughts I really had to think about. I got two of these bad boys, Bic Acoustic PL200s. Roughly 275 on the wattage, and they say max 1,000, but we know everybody's uh, watts are kind of crazy. Let's just say for 299, and here it is on Amazon, this is a big ass subwoofer for 299. I am gonna recommend it, but I wanna give you some cautionary tells for a second. For being on a budget, this is a badass subwoofer. You'll see on Amazon that if you search for the Bic Acoustic PL200, the Bose uh, 12 inch will come up too, also 299. Let me tell you why I didn't get that one. I've bought a couple of Bose before. I've never liked the build quality. I don't like the range of the Bose subwoofer. This sucker gets very, very low. I mean, I've got it, I've got it down fairly close to say 19, pretty easy. I thought I even got it to 18 before uh, on how low it would go. And one of the things that I really like about it is I want a subwoofer that is good build quality, good amp on the back, and say three or four years down the road, you got to replace the speaker or the amp. Is the box solid? Can you replace the amp? Can you replace the speaker? And I'm not saying I'll have to do that within five years because the, the warranty on this sucker is a beast. But I look for all that. The piano black uh, finishes on, the, on both of them. I think they look really nice, but I will say no one touches this. They scratch really easy. But let's look at this bad boy real quick. 12 inch long throw subwoofer. Pretty firm, doesn't push down real well. But you look on Amazon, look at all the big subwoofers. They're all almost five stars. You get what you pay for. And this sucker, look at all the professional reviews. It's really, really, it's reviewed really, really good. They say four large rooms, but I'm, I'm reviewing it not for, you probably know it's already a good subwoofer for $2.99. But you notice this white right here on both of these? You're gonna have this possibly on your subwoofer because there's other people on YouTube that complain about it too. What you get, these are loose in here. And when you first get the subwoofer, oh my God, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be everything you want. Then possibly after a couple of weeks, you're gonna hear some port noise. And these suckers have two big firing ports. That's what gets it down uh, below 20 on the Hertz. So what I had to do was take out the speaker, uh, pull both of these out. They wiggled out fairly easy. And then I took um, Gorilla Glue and I put Gorilla Glue around these and these suckers are still tight now. So that's kind of a cautionary tell. For $2.99, you're getting a real good subwoofer, but Bic has admitted and they apologize to me, they know they did not use enough glue on these. So it's nothing they're trying to hide. Uh, it's just they know that they're loose. And I've talked to them about it. They said easy fix and well it was. And when you take it apart, you get to see the guts. You get to see how good this sucker's built. Um, I don't know, I really don't have anything uh, much more to say about it. I do change it up quite a bit. So this is the loudest it'll go, in this configuration here, this is the lowest it'll go. But some people say there's no such thing as a, a good ported subwoofer. A non-ported subwoofer sounds better most of the time. I don't care if you get the $900 subwoofers or the $1,200 subwoofers. Most people will tell you, you get a non-ported subwoofer, it's the best of both worlds all the time. So what I do, I just shove this in here. I put the thing back on, I put the uh, front back on. Now this subwoofer, it's not going down to below 20 on the Hertz anymore. But, oh my gosh, the sound is very, very tight. 
I could turn it up louder. I get so much, it's, it, I don't know, it's amazingly clean, but for the power this is, um, I get away with that really easy and I could do it both. But lately I've been summertime. So as you know, on one of my other videos, fuck the neighbors, you go big or go home. And sometimes I want that clean noise. Most of the time I want these wide open. Um, something else I might be able to, I don't know how well you'll see this and it's not real heavy. I know you can't see this very well, but um, you got on, off, and auto, zero to 180, volume, um, crossover, and crossover is always max. My volume is always straight up and down. Um, down here, I got it set to receiver versus sub, and these are inputs and outputs. So pretty generic configuration. You just plug your um, RCA in here when you have a receiver, and that's it. Um, I don't know. I could highly recommend it just because, just because I bought two of them. And if you don't like one, like I had to glue the ports on the first one and I thought, well, that's kind of crazy. But then I glued the port and I went six months. I mean, I went six months and that's when I finally had to start isolating subwoofers because the neighbors were calling the cops on me because I was shaking, I was shaking their pictures in their house. And now I got two of these bad boys. So I don't know, just a quick little heads up. Very good for $2.99. Better than the Bose, goes lower. Build quality is better. This sucker has a life after the life of the speaker is over. So you want a good sub subwoofer that looks good. The Bose has a, uh, a long port at the back on the bottom. It's just a long vented port. Like on the back, the Bose has a little port going across right here. It's a, it's a good subwoofer. It's accurate for movies. But I don't want, I wanted low. I wanted, I wanted it to go really low. I wanted the build quality. I wanted to be able to pop out the speaker if I had to. I wanted just everything about this and all the reviews I thought were undeniable. The way it looks, the cleanliness. The only problem I do have, and this is a valid, this is a valid problem. This sucker moves an, obs an obscene amount of air. I get a little dust ring right there. And if I just take a wet washcloth, wring it out and just wipe across the front, that goes away. But here you go, Bic Acoustic PL200. I am recommending it if you're on a budget. You might have to glue the ports. Don't be afraid of that. If you have to do that, you get to open up your subwoofer and look inside it. You get to understand how good everything is. I wish the speaker was a little beefier, but a lot of people have already changed out the speakers, but no, this speaker, you know, the warranty on this is eight years, I think. So no issues, but give it a try. Tell me what you think. I got two of these and I got zero complaints. Took a little bit of work, but there you go.